Sylvia. Have you introduced yourselves? He wouldn't tell us his name. Oh, this is Greg. He helps me out around the house. And these are my grandsons, Tim and Elliot, who I don't see enough of. No, I'm Tim. He's <laughs> Elliot. She always does that. She's going senile. We speak our mind in this family. He's making that worse. Let me have a go. I'm doing it. Greg, let Elliot have a go. There's plenty to do here for everyone. <coughs> now, how are you two boys getting on at school? None. None. Oh, don't be so modest. I know you're both doing wonderfully. I'll go and do the car now. Make sure you do a good job. Now, are you hungry? Yeah. What did you have for breakfast? Looking in the pet shop window, there's five puppies in a pen. But one puppy is dirtier than the rest. He's shaggier. He's gruffy. He's cheeky. He's Robbie Williams. She's good, isn't she? I'm more of an ill I'm a woman myself. My brother Patrick's organising a Christmas disco for next week. And he can't get a DJ for the love of the money. I wonder if Claire would do it. I don't know. But I think it's time she picked up her test results and her prescriptions. No, leave for a while. Let her finish. What is it? Donuts. Donuts. Give us a look. I bought too many yesterday. They'll only go off. You take them, they'll help build you up. Maybe later. I don't suppose the food's up too much in here, is it, eh? I haven't really been feeling hungry. No? Oh, well, in that case, do you mind if I, uh... <laughs> so, how are you feeling in yourself? I think I might have a DJ for you. She's young, but she's good, and you're desperate. So does she get the job? Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. What's going on here? I can't stop to chat and late for rounds. Who's this? I don't know. He was in here when I arrived. Morning, Doc. I'm Big Bob. My card. paid for washing cars. None of your business. Shame. Our father has four cars. You could have made a killing. I don't think he wants to talk to us. I don't think he can talk. He can just grunt. You mean he's not actually human? No. Gran found him in one of those animal shelters. And she took pity on him. And fed him a biscuit and taught him how to wash cars. And sit and beg and roll over. And play dead. I'm not scared of you two. You want me to fight? Doesn't he look tough when he's angry? He's got me scared. I'll fight you. I'll fight you both right now. Come on. Greg, that's enough. What's got into you, for goodness sake? Now, come inside, all of you. I've made you some lunch. Not you. So, you're a Santa Claus impersonator. Guilty as charged, Your Honour. Big Bob Santa extravaganza. And I don't need any padding. <laughs> you book me. And I'll show the kiddies a really good time. And what makes you think we're looking for a Santa Claus? Well, you can't have Christmas without Father Christmas. I think you'll find my rates are very competitive. I guarantee to undercut any other Santa in town. Do you have references? The smile on a child's face is my reference. Yes, I'm sure. But have you worked any major department stores or civic functions? Well, I'll be honest with you, Doc. This is a new direction for me. You might say I was the, the new Santa on the block. But I was born to this. It's my calling. Like you were born to save lives, I was born to wear the scarlet suit. What about a grotto? What about a grotto? Do you come with your own grotto, or would you be expecting us to provide it? It's an all-in deal. I take my own grotto with me wherever I go. Hey, take a look at this. This is my costume, right? Imagine me in this. Yo ho ho! I look just like Santa, right? Honest, the kids will love it. It's terrible. It's not even the right colour. What do you mean? It's red? <laughs> it's not red. It's pink, it's purple, it's brown. It's every colour but red. Oh, it's falling apart. Hey, get off! My mum made this. I'm sorry, you're just not suitable. Please pack up your things and go. All right, my rock bottom price. I'll work on commission. Two quid per kid. Everyone on the knee gets a prezi. Quality toys straight from the market. No tap, mind. I said no. Thank you. Now, if you can, you get out of my office. I have work to do. You're a hard man, Doctor. Listen, Doug, we think it was a matter date burgers that caused all this. Has anybody said anything? No, but it must have been them. Are you a food scientist? We don't know. Look, I've chucked out all that old stock, but if the environmental health found out, they'd close me down, and that's not good for anyone, is it? We won't say anything. Good lads. Uh, What's going on over there? Don't worry. 
That's the doctor. The girls are okay. They think they caught salmonella. Chewing the vines, you have the nails. <laughs> nice looking girls, mind. Right, I better get back for the lunchtime rush. And I want you back flipping burgers as soon as possible. I might even manage a little pay rise. Only a little one, mind. I am lost. What are you looking for? Better directions than I got off that Scrooge on B1. I'm not B1. Who's the Scrooge? Uh, what's his name? Dr Nick Williams. Nurse Nick Williams. What's he done now? He's banned Christmas for all the sick little children. He's done what? This hospital is a Santa-free zone. Block up your chimneys and throw away your socks. This is interesting. It's not me, Ma. Going on? Nothing. How's a girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. When are mum and dad coming for you? Can't wait to get rid of me, eh? Yeah. If they turn up. Oh, are you still sulking because so they didn't come and visit you last night? They said they'd be here at six. I've got more important things to do than tuck you in at bedtime. I know. There's always another meeting, another demo, another protest. It didn't take you long to sell out, did it? I'm just tired, that's all. I'm just selfish. People are more important than trees, you know. Yeah, cars are more important than trees. Factories are more important than trees. Have you forgotten what we're fighting for? Maybe I'm just sick of fighting all the time. Maybe I need a break. And what happens if we all take a break? The bulldozers move in and thousands of years of nature are destroyed in a second. You have to take over Operation Eden. and you're the only one who can run the campaign. I've started everything and planned a strategy, so now all you need to do is... No! What do you mean, no? I mean, no. I won't do it. You'd rather waste your time chatting up girls? No. You think you're more important than the environment? Yeah. Maybe I do. Like I said, selfish. I think you're more important than the environment as well. I think Mum and Dad are more important than the environment. What's going Try on Try telling here? Mum and Dad what you just said. See what they think. You're letting them down, Cal. Yeah? Like they let me down. They're fighting for something they believe in. You're not doing anything. All right. That's enough. Three minutes soft, five minutes hard. I don't believe this. I'm sorry, Reg, I've got to go. There is a payphone in the corridor. Julie said I could use the office. This is not Dr Barrow's office. They were right about you. What about me? Scrooge. Excuse me? We always have Santa on B1. It's traditional. Big Bob is not a suitable person for a children's ward. Bar humbug. Do you think Doug meant it? Of course he meant it. He's not going to let us go. Where is it? Star attraction. No, do you think he meant it about getting rid of his old meat?